Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I have a Walmart haul. Um, it will be focusing on stocking stuffers, like I said in previous videos. And I also have like a very, very small Dollar General haul. So I'm just going to stick it in this video. I did not get a lot. Uh, I got a couple of things for stocking stuffers uh, because I got the coffee beans for my boys. So these were going to go in place of the coffee beans in the other stockings here. So I got those. I grabbed this. Um, it was, I want to say it was $3. Two or three dollars. I'm not sure. I don't remember. I don't think I have my receipt handy. Maybe. Maybe I do. Hang on. Let's see. It was. Sorry, guys. Um. No, it was two dollars. So that's good. It was two dollars. Uh, at. Walmart. You can get the smaller ones for a dollar, but these, which I'm going to take this out because I'm probably going to fill it up later. They unscrew and everything. And I have like a couple of these, but I don't have any that are this large. These are like huge. So I went ahead and got one. I'm going to see how much be how many beads these hold because if it holds like a ton of the seed beads I will I have like the smaller ones I'll probably switch to this because I do have a lot of like one color and I think this would be able to hold a lot more to where I could use the other jars for other colors that don't have as much so yeah I got that I got a few things. They're all purple. Uh, I got this little thing of glitter that is purple. The pinky purple. I got two of these little markers. And they have... Let me stand up for this. They have the dual tip. Focus. Focus camera. There we go. They have the dual tip. So I got two of these. These were a dollar each. I got two of the Sharpies. They were also a dollar each. And then I got this gel pen, which was also a dollar. So I got those. That is it for Dollar General. Uh, I do want to show you guys one other thing that I got. Okay, so I'm pretty sure... I don't know. I don't know if I showed it to you or not. So I bought my son an incense burner. If I have already shown it, you'll know what I'm talking about. If I haven't, you'll see it in another video. Um, so I got him some cones. Now his scent preference, he likes peppermint, candy cane, and mint. They don't usually make incense sticks like that. Um, Around Christmas, you might get the... I, I found the candy cane. This is candy cane in here in the sticks, which he did say he prefers sticks. But I the incense burner I got for him is for cones. So I got him a few. Now, he did say he likes spring rain. They had fresh rain. So I went ahead and got two of those. I got two of the vanilla Two of the Raspberry Rose, which this smells so good. I'm not usually one for like flowery type stuff, but I guess the raspberry kind of tones it down. It smells so good. Uh, Dragon's Blood, because I absolutely love this one. I have bought it from them several times now, and it's the local uh, crystal shop in my town. And oh, the Dragon's Blood just smells so good. I buy this all the time. And then musk. Now I did not expect to like the musk, but I actually do. So 
I went ahead and got it just so that he could try it because it, if I didn't like the scent, I didn't buy it. And it may have been a mistake because he may have liked the scents. I don't know. I may take him into the shop one day and he can go through and pick out ones that he actually likes. But yeah, I, oh, I love the dragon's blood one. But anyway, so that is what I got him. And then the rest is all Walmart. So there is a lot. So I'm going to try to go kind of quick. I got a bunch of the Pez dispensers. There's some in other bags. Um, one son loves Star Wars. My daughter loves Pokemon. I am trying to find some other Pez dispensers. Uh, they didn't really have much choice at the store I went to. So I'm going to try to find other ones later if I can. I found these Swiss Miss packets and they have the gnomes on them and they're adorable. So I got three peppermint, one milk chocolate because they only had one milk chocolate, I think. No, they did not. No, I think I got four of each. I think I got four of each. The ones that they didn't have, all of them was at Dollar Tree. So yeah, I think I got four of each. These are just the first four. And, oh, yep, here's the other peppermint one. So that's for the peppermint. I got these. And I've actually had to, which I need to check everything again. But I've actually had to start looking at what they have in the chocolate. Because my daughter can't have coconut and she can't have pistachios. So I've had to actually look in, because we just found out recently that that's what she, two of the things she's allergic to. Um, so yeah, I have had to start looking at what's in the boxes, but I got one of each of these. I think, I want to say there's one more color, but I'm not sure, but we will just keep going. Uh, so here is another one of the Pez dispensers. It is Pikachu. We so got that. I got four of these somewhere. And I want to say, these used, I'm pretty sure these used to be a dollar. Because I always get these for the stockings. And I'm pretty sure they used to be a dollar. These are two dollars now. So inflation is like it's getting pretty high up there all right i grabbed one of each of these it is the bubble tape when i was growing up man if you got one of these it was the best thing in the world every kid wanted to have the bubble tape it's just it's fun it's fun to eat um but yeah that in the uh Oh, what is that other gum? The big chew, big leak chew. Those were like, these two things were like the, the gum to have. It was, yeah. Constantly had to try and get that stuff. All right. So I found these and, you know, and I know the price point for these is, is kind of whatever. I, they're only a dollar, but it's, it's not so much for the Nutella it's the jar. It's the jar. You want the jar because it's glass. It's cute. It's little. And yeah, so I got one of the eat, no, four of each color lid. Uh, so that each one will get two. And yeah, you want the jar. They're just adorable. Okay. So I got these. Uh, because it was the only thing that I saw that they, the, the two might like, I don't, I'm hoping they love tea. The two of them love tea. So there's a bunch of different teas in here. So I went ahead and got two of these. So got two of those. I got 
if I can get it out. I got this and let me kind of move a couple of the big stuff. Okay, so I got this and I'm gonna tell you uh, for anyone wondering, okay, it was $10, but for anyone wondering, this is actually EBT eligible. Don't ask me how, because I don't know, because the deal with EBT is that the item has to be 50, over 50% 50 food. This is not, because you have the brush, the bowl, well, maybe you have the rub back here, the dry rub, and then you have the two sauces. So maybe the three to two or three out of five ratio, maybe that worked. I don't know. Some of the items won't count for EBT, but this one did. So that is why I got this one um, for my son, my oldest. I got that for him. I got this for him as well because he loves hot sauces. Uh, so you've got the hab habanero hot sauce, fiery blend, the green jalapeno hot sauce, and then the chipotle pepper hot sauce. And this again, EBT eligible. So, and then, you, you know, you have the, the jars to collect after you use up the sauce. I got this. Uh, I got this for my one of my sons because he, him and I always go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Okay, he calls it spaghetti. I call it pasta. I call any, any, what I call pasta. It's anything. It could be elbow macaroni. Could be ravioli. It could be spaghetti, vermicelli, uh, angel hair pasta. It, everything to me is pasta. My son is constant. No, that's spaghetti. I got this for him as kind of like a, a, an inside joke thing, but it comes with a jar of pasta and then it comes with a wooden spoon. Now online at Walmart, this was EBT eligible. In the store, they did not have this ringing up as EBT eligible. So I returned the item. Well, I had them take it off at the store. I ordered it online, did the pickup, same store, mind you, same store. And it was EBT eligible. So I was able to use it that way. So if you're in the store and you check and it says EBT eligible online and you go to buy it, when you ring out if it doesn't come off with the EBT just send it you know have them take it off the receipt and just order it online and as a pickup because it'll go through so it's weird I don't know why it does that but even the employee told me to try to order it online and see if it would go through that way which is what I did okay the next thing I got was this beautiful, very glittered, so it's going to stay in the package, very glittered uh, filet, which I'm going to have to probably use a sealant on this for her uh, once she opens it so that all this glitter doesn't come off. But it's the Ghirardelli, it's got pretzels, it's got sea salt caramel, it's got the milk chocolate squares, uh, it's got candy canes. I'm hoping it doesn't have coconut or anything in here. Uh, it just, oh, it says, no, oh, that's peppermint hot cocoa in the back. So I think it's just all chocolate and candy canes pretty much, and then the pretzels. But I got this. This is metal here. So I'm assuming that all of it is. Uh, this is also EBT eligible. And I got it in the store that way. 
the only I only had to order two things online. One was the pasta kit. The other one was this. Now, online, the Nutcracker one like this does not ring up as EBT eligible. Online, this one does. In the store, this one does not. So I had to order this online as well. And it comes with rainbow chip shortbread cookies. So that is what I grabbed. Uh, again, I had to do it online. I just did the, the pickup order because I don't even think shipping was an option. But I did it as a pickup order. Picked it up in the same store that I had tried to buy it in. So for whatever reason, they don't have it working that way. Okay, so there are, I think that's the last of the Pokemon says you have the other milk chocolate the other box of the candy so yeah there there were four different colors and then the other m and I got that and the last thing right yes the last thing is this. So, and I'm going to stand up so I can see what, where I'm showing this. Okay, so it's called a movie night for two. It has the popcorn cups in there. It's got a bunch of candy and popcorn. And it comes in this really big box. Okay. This is EBT eligible in the store. So like I said, if you do if you use EBT, check, add the item. If it doesn't show when you pull it up on the app or online or whatever, add it to your cart. Go to your cart. If you have your EBT card stored on Walmart.com. Go to your cart and it will tell you if it is eligible or not. If the store doesn't take it off, take, send it, you know, take it off your order. Don't buy it. Go online, do the pickup order, and it will work. Okay? It's a way to save. You can get some really good stocking stuffers and you're using your EBT to get it. If you don't need the EBT for your, like, if you have extra, don't, you know... <laughs> Don't do it if you don't have extra, but it's a way to get some small things to put in a stocking stuffer and it's a little easier on the pocketbook at Christmas time. Okay, so that is it. If you guys enjoy this kind of content, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. That's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.